my name is Chris Washburn and I'm a trombonist. And today I'm going to talk about extended techniques on the trombone. In jazz styles, trombonists have been oftentimes used for humorous effects in the past and also for mimicking the human voice in a variety of different ways. But in avant-garde jazz, we started, it emerges in the 1960s or so, the possibilities of various sounds that could be created on the instrument started to expand and explode. And the trombone is quite good at doing these unusual sounds. Now when we talk about extended techniques, it means playing the instrument in maybe an unconventional way, or making sounds that might not be expected. I'll give you an example of extended technique. In other words, turning the trombone into a percussion instrument. You can make sounds easily by banging a slide, slapping the bell, or even doing this, but don't do this hard because it gets the mouthpiece stuck. These are all things that you can do to kind of enhance your expressive palette on the trombone. There's other things you can do while you play. For instance, there's the growl, where you kind of do this with your tongue. It's almost like a machine gun type of tonguing. Makes it kind of growling and gravelly. You can mix that with a gliss. So it's you're playing, you're buzzing your lips, but you're also vibrating your tongue really fast. Another thing you can do is use your voice at the same time that you're playing. Now the trombone is quite good for this because it's in the same range as the human voice. So you can play a note, a low B flat, and you can sing that and it's going to sound kind of weird. Sounds kind of strange, but if you start to sing various intervals above that note, you can start to actually create chords. All I'm doing is A good way to practice this is to whistle and hum at the same time. That also creates kind of some weird sounds, but that's basically what you're doing in the instrument. Oftentimes the interval of the fifth kind of sounds the most open and cool. So you're playing a fifth above the note that you're playing. And if you start to change notes, and change notes while you're singing and playing, it can sound like this. You can actually accompany yourself. So these would be examples of extended techniques. The person that was the most virtuosic, especially with the vocals and the playing, was a European trombonist named Albert Mangelsdorf. Check him out. It'll really blow your mind.